Hey everyone, how's it going? So, today we have a little bit of a different video. I'm outside today, so, um, got some things to show you guys. Um, I got a cool, so, I, I've been looking for an EDC pouch for a while. One that I actually, like, really like, and not just, like, a cheapy one, and I found one. Um, it is made by a pretty, uh, awesome company. The company is called Null Knives, N-U-L-L -L, Knives. Um, you might know them from the knife they have called the Voodoo. Uh, fantastic company, fantastic products. Um, yeah, they make awesome stuff. And this pouch is totally cool. Um, this is made out of, like, super thick canvas. Um, it actually has some weight to it for being so small. Super nice canvas. It's brown. Uh, they have other colors. They have, like, a... I know they have a blue, a blue and black, and they have like, so, so this color is blue, and then they have the black, and then I think they have, um, a gray and black, if I'm not mistaken, um, they, they have three different colors, um, I opted for the brown one, um, thinking about it, I should have just bought all three, because they are fantastic, so on back here, you have this nice big pouch back here, this would be perfect to put your pens in, or, um, you can even, um, here, let's see, I haven't tried this yet, but if you wanted to, you could, uh, yeah, you could stick your wallet back there. Yeah, perfect, stick your wallet in there. I kind of wish it was velcro though, maybe. Had a little Velcro just to hold it in there, whatever you want to put in. Um, it also has two other pouches, uh, this guy here, and this guy here. Um, I would think that, um, this might be good for, like, band-aids or something, <laughs> And this might be good for, like, a pen or maybe a small flashlight, maybe? Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff you could put in a bag like this. The front of it um, has their logo, has their name here, Null Knives, with their logo. Um, this also came with two stickers. Um, I already packaged those up from my giveaway, so they're already in a box. Sorry about that. But one is just, like, the Null Knives logo, and the other one just says Null Knives, so... Uh, nice Velcro here. This Velcro is very thick. It's not cheap Velcro. Um, it's actually really, really nice. A really nice Velcro. The zipper, um, the, it's very nice and smooth. Um, nice high quality zipper. Not some cheapy thing. Inside is just a standard pouch. Uh, nothing crazy in here. This is a standard pouch. Um, I love the stitching on here. They really, um... They really did a fantastic job on their stitching. Um, this pouch will definitely last a very long time if you take care of it. So, super cool pouch for no knives. And it's only 20 bucks, guys. Like, you can't beat that. That's an awesome price for this. Um, this not, I think this is about 6 inches long by 4 inches. So, you could definitely fit um, basically any knife you want in there. Um, any folding knife, I should say, you want in there. There might be some that are bigger than that, but, I mean, who carries a knife that's, you know, 12 inches total in length? Uh, yeah, no one. Um, yeah, well, when I bought this, I didn't know that there was, um... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna attack by B. Yo, piss off, man. Are you serious? Get out of here. What the fudge? Oh my gosh, this B tried to go up my pants. Ay ay ay. <clears throat> what the heck? Anyway, um... God, what was I saying? Shoot, I don't even remember. Oh, when I bought this, I didn't realize that there were pouches in back. So I'm very um, happily surprised about that. That's really cool. Um, yeah, number, so many things you could use that those pouches for. Um, I kind of like how my wallet fits in there. I just maybe I'll put some Velcro on there. Um, right here, put some Velcro just to keep it in there. But yeah, I'm I love this pouch. It's so well made, and like the canvas guys is so thick. Like, it's super nice canvas, super nice pouch. And like I said, it's only 20 bucks. 20 freaking dollars. That's an awesome deal for a pouch like this. So, let's get to the main topic here. So, um, I was looking at knives uh, a little bit ago. And there was a knife I found made by Six Leaf. If you guys don't know, Six Leaf and Tucson are made in the same factory. Um, I, I, I was under the impression that Six Leaf was... Tucson's budget line um, but I am incorrect on that so I'm not really sure their relationship I know that they're in the same company um, yeah I should probably look that up but I haven't done so yet um, 
So I, I found a knife. Uh, it's called a uh, Six Leaf SL18. Uh, it's actually a button lock, and it was only forty bucks. D2 steel with micarta. Um, pretty pretty cool deal. Um, there are some uh, other ones. Um, SL16 is a titanium button lock, and the SL19 um, is freaking insane. It's it's uh, eighty four dollars. If you're familiar with uh, Devo knives, that Prowler knife they have is kind of the same kind of shape as that. Um, a really cool knife. Super cool knife. They have it on Amazon right now for $84. So check that out. Um, a six leaf for the money. Like, they make great stuff. They have a knife, um, a six leaf SL11. It's like, a, it kind of looks like a Ray Laconico, a very simplistic design. And that knife is is insanely well done. Um, it's micarta with D2. It's a front flipper with uh, thumb studs. I think it just has a single thumb stud. Um, it's on bearings. And that knife, man, the action on that is insane. It is a fantastic knife. And it's only $30 with the 10% off discount on White Mountain Knives. And they have them in stock right now, too. So if you guys want a cool knife that's, uh, that's uh, very smooth, very simplistic... Uh, thumb stud action with the top flipper. Check out that six leaf SL11. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, but let's get into the knife here. So here we go. This is it, guys. This is the six leaf uh, SL18. The micarta, as you can see, is not a um, not a soft micarta. It kind of is like a G10 kind of feel. Um, however, it has a really cool like wood pattern. You guys see that? It kind of looks like wood. Which I think is super cool. Um, man, this thing is sharp too. I just put a... a oh, wow. Look at that. It, what? I literally barely even touched my finger on here and it cut me. I put a freaking screaming edge. So, I just got into sharpening again. I haven't sharpened in like 10 years and I just picked it up again. I got that DMB tri, Triway Stone. Um... And yeah, it's uh, it's great, man. It's a diamond, diamond infused or whatever. I saw it on oh, man. That thing's bleeding. Son of a gun. I like literally barely touched myself back here. Like it literally barely touched me. My gosh, that thing is sharp. I can't believe that. I really can't believe it just cut me. Like I literally barely even touched it. Wow. But uh, that that DMB sharp that triway system it has one fifty. 325 and 1200 grit um it works awesome man like i've been sharpening all my knives and they come out like screamers like they are stupid dumb sharp and this freaking cut is just gonna keep bleeding huh it's actually pretty man it's pretty deep seriously i literally can't believe that i like just touched it i like literally just just touched it and it cut right into me that's kind of annoying Sorry for all the, the lip sounds. I'm sucking up all this blood. <laughs> oh well. Um, so, as you can see, it's a button lock. Um, <clears throat> this is the rattlesnake design. The other knives that I talked about, too, are all rattlesnake designs. I think um, Six Leaf, um, rattlesnake design must be like their lead designer. Um, he makes really cool stuff. Really cool designs. Um, I was talking to Cole about this. And he said it kind of looks like a... Uh, an old guard from Monterey Bay Knives. Um, I can kind of see the resemblance there. Um, great sharpening troil here. Um, plenty of room to sharpen. They did a fantastic job on that. I love the flat grind. I love the swedge. Um, fantastic looking blade. Man, that blade for EDC is great. That's a great EDC blade. I wish it was just a tiny... Oh, man. Stop bleeding. I wish it was a tiny bit slanted down, though. Just like a, a tiny bit more drop pointy. Or I wish it was a little bit drop point. It's because when you're on the... Man, these bees, man. Are you fucking serious? Fuck. Fucking bee tried to win up my shirt now. Sorry about the language, but... Fuck. Freaking bees everywhere around here. I, I live in a condo, and the building is brick. And these bees just gravitate towards the brick because the brick gives off so much heat. And they are just all over the brick sun, sun tanning, and it's so annoying. There's so many bees. Ay, ay, ay. I've lived here for a year now, and I've almost got stung or had bees go on my shirt so many times. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the brick, guys, there's like... 
I just on my deck, there's like 25 bees just chilling on the brick sun tanning. <laughs> it's just so bizarre. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, I'll talk about the knife. Sorry about that. A little off subject, but... Um, as you can see, these liners, super thick liners in here. Um, really nice and thick. I really love that. Very nice, rigid knife. I like how it's a little bit thicker, too. Um, it's kind of squarish. I wish they would have chamfered these edges just a little, little bit. So it would have been a little bit more comfortable. However, the knife is very, very comfortable to hold. Okay, like, it's great. It feels fantastic in the hand. Especially in this kind of grip right here. This grip is money. Like, this, how they have this, um, concave here with this little, I mean, point. Even up here is, I mean, up here is good too, but I'm kind of sketched out because that's so dang sharp. If you touch it, you'll cut yourself, so I'm kind of, I don't want to put my finger up there now. <laughs> but in this position here, um, I'm like, uh, in between like a medium large glove, and it fits my hand like, fan, like butter, man. Like, it fits so well. The clip, though, is a, I can feel it a little bit. It's not terrible by any means, and if I squeeze down super hard, as you can see, I have just a little bit of impression of the tip here, but it's not like anything that's going to annoy you over time, you know, like you can barely notice, and, and just like a regular, like, like kind of a subtle squeeze grip, you don't really notice it, but if you really clamp down on it, that's when you notice it, so it's not like a, it's not a nuisance, so, um, the button lock is pretty good, okay, well, when I... So, when I got this, there was no button stick. There was nothing like that. Um, I was actually very surprised. Normally when you get uh, button locks, they have a little bit of stick to them before they break in. Um, but this one was pretty good. Also, when I got this, the thumb studs were tearing my finger up like crazy. Um, I had to do a little bit of adjustments just to get this a little bit more um, loose. And now the thumb studs work pretty good. So, Cole, if you're watching this from Tri-State, I have fixed the thumb stud issue. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're, they're, they're not that bad now. I just had to loosen up pivot a little bit. Um, I, I do have a question, though. I'm kind of... Okay, can you guys see this? This cutout right there? Can you guys see that? That little, like... That little, like, indent or whatever? I'm really surprised that that is what holds the button lock in place. Are, are all button, lock, button locks like that? They're just like a little cutout? That seems very strange to me. I, I can think of a thousand different ways to do a button lock that would be a lot more... A lot better efficiency than, than just this little thing. Like, it's so weird. Are, are this supposed to be like that? I'm not like a huge button lock guy. I've, this is the first one I've owned. However, I have borrowed many from friends. But I don't remember seeing this, like, very, um, unpolished, rough cutout on the blade, on the back of the, the blade there. Um, it, it does lock up really well. The lockup is great. It's very, it's freaking rock solid. But, um, I, I actually took this knife and I bounded the bloody heck out of it on, uh, on my table to try to get the, to, to fail this because I didn't think it would hold. But it holds. I mean, I pounded, like, I really pounded this like crazy. It's only a $40 knife. If I broke it, I would just buy another one. But I really wanted to test that out. And uh, it held, but um, for some reason, I feel like that's not how it should be. It's very, um, very weird to me. Comment down below if that's how all button, if that's how all button locks look with that little cutout. I, I really don't know. I tried looking at some pictures online, and I couldn't really find a picture that showed it, so... Yeah, comment down below, let me know if that's how they all are. But, uh, yeah, the action on this is great. When you flick this out, like, it flicks out with, like, the detent is actually really stiff. Or not the detent, but the, 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 I, the, the, the button lock, you know, tension or whatever you want to call it. It's really stiff. Um, so when you pop this, like, it opens up like a freaking automatic it really pops open like crazy. Um, I love it. I'm really happy that I figured out that thumb stud issue because I was not liking it at first. It was really tearing my thumb up. But now that I got it dialed in, 
it's it's super fun to play with actually and uh the button works great i love uh, the button too when it is engaged that it doesn't stick way up above the scale so you can't accidentally dis uh disengage it it only sticks up just a tiny bit it's not a major thing and also when it's closed it's, it's flush with the scale basically so that's nice um yeah, I, I mean, this knife is done pretty well. For $40, I mean, I think this knife is fantastic. Um, oh, yeah, it's all T8s. T8s all the way around, which is super nice. Um, I believe the thumb stud is a T6. So, I, I mean, I guess you could take the thumb studs out and put some different ones in there to kind of improve that. You know, maybe... Here, actually, let me see. Uh, well, I mean, you could put some... You could put some bigger ones in here. Um, so the thumb stud placement on this is not very well done. This should have been out a little bit further and the thumb stud should have been out a little bit further. It's, it's too close here. The the, the amount of um, moment, uh, not momentum, but the, uh, the, the, the angles at which you flip this open are not done very well. Um, it could have done that a lot better. You ha literally have to kind of like flick it this way like at an angle like this, you can't really go upward. It's kind of hard. You really have to. You really have to put some oomph into it, like a lot of oomph. But if you go out like a diagonal like this, it, it works great. It works so great. Um, due to the the amount of tension on this, there is no way in hell you're going to fail this knife. There is no way. This knife is not failable. Um, I tried it for 35 minutes the other day. And uh, the amount of tension you have to put on, or pressure you have to put on this, you, you're not failing this at all. Like, there's no way you're failing this. So, wow, I just cut myself again, didn't I? I barely touched it again, no? Wow, I, like, I can't, like, I even put a low angle on it. I put, like, a 20 degree angle, and that thing, like, is so freaking sharp. My gosh, I'm like, I literally can't believe how sharp that is. I didn't realize it was so sharp. Wow. I didn't cut, I just sharpened it, I didn't even do the paper test or anything, I just sharpened it and called it a day, but, uh, yeah, it came out pretty damn sharp. <laughs> like, I literally just touched it to my hand and it cut me. That's crazy. Um, oh, the backspacer, backspacer appears to be, uh, that looks like G10. Yeah, right, that's G10, right? You all see that? Looks, well, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's G10. The pocket clip is just steel, it's not titanium. However, uh, this pocket clip is a pretty common shape here. I'm sure that you could find um, a multitude of different pocket clips that would fit this. Um, I'm sure some from Civivi would fit, or even Tucson, the, the more... Um, uh, the more expensive models I know have clips that look like this with the same kind of uh, cut out here and angles and screw size. Um, so I'm, I'm sure some of those would fit on here too if you want to upgrade this. Because the shiny pocket clip really doesn't uh, match. It's kind of it's kind of an eyesore. You have uh, some stone wash here and you have this is kind of muted and then you have this super shiny clip. It's kind of uh, out of place. Um, if you were to, so if you were to anodize, or get a titanium one, anodize it, um, to like a, a goldish color, or, yeah, goldish color along with the hardware, this thing would look so cool, which I might actually do. Um, I've actually been doing some heat anodizing, um, and it actually has been turning out pretty decent. Um, it's kind of fun, actually. So, um, all in all, guys, um, I would... Totally, so I would totally recommend this knife. I would totally recommend it for forty dollars. Button lock that doesn't stick out of the box. Like, come on, man. And it's like, you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but like, it's totally like loose blade going on here. There's no like. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit, a little bit of uh, like it's not totally loose, but I mean, it's just it's enough. It's enough to. Uh, it's enough to drop it really nicely it's not really drop shutty so I don't like my knives drop shutty I think it's uh, boring so when I when I close my knife maybe not button locks but I like to do that and like smack it close you know like I like to play around with the blade a little bit more than just letting it drop 
However, on a button lock, you can deploy it and you can do the button and just smack it closed. And you can try to like stop it to where, so watch this, so. You see how, like I try to stop it to where it's closed, you know? It's kind of a fun little game, like that. <clears throat> I was doing that the other day for like two hours trying to do ten in a row and I just couldn't do it. There's one. There's two. Oh, well, two in a row, whatever. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, that knife for $40, go out and buy it. Uh, White Mountain Knives, it's in stock. Uh, well, it was in stock two days ago. Um, I'm sure you guys would love it. Also, check out the SL11 White Mountain Knives has. Um, it's a fantastic... The action on that with the thumb stud placement is just ridiculous. It's, it's, it's fantastic, and it rockets out of there. It's so smooth, it's on bearings... The front flipper is done very well. It works fantastic. Um, definitely give that knife a look. And it's 30 bucks, man, for my Carta D2 front flipper thumb stud. Like, come on. Like, I don't know how they can make knives like this so cheap that are so good, you know? Like, I would literally, I, I would pay 60 bucks for this. And that SL11, dude, I'd pay 60 bucks for that all day. Um, I'm so excited to check out the SL19. I have one coming. Um, it's going to take probably 1,500 years to get here, but I'll get it eventually, and I'll show it on the channel. The SL16 button lock, the titanium one, looks super freaking cool. The blade shape is so, man, it's so good. Um, I'm going to order that next, probably in a couple weeks here, and then we'll show that one too. Um, Six Leaf, man, Six Leaf is doing it. They, they have some great products, some really good stuff. Um, I've tried out probably 90% of their knives. And there has yet to... Well, there is one I didn't like too much. I think it was the SL... Oh, uh, uh, man. Darn it. The SL7, maybe, I think. Um, I think it was the SL7. I just didn't care for it too much. But all the rest of it, man, I've really liked. I, I mean, for the money... Um, yeah, dude, they're, they're really good. They're, they're fantastic. Oh, crap. You know what, guys? I totally forgot about something. Let's go over the blade, the, the specs on this knife. I totally forgot. <laughs> so overall, we got 7.44 inches. The closed length is 4.13. The blade length is 3.23 with a cutting edge of exactly 3 inches. This is, uh, the thickness is, is 0.118 inches. The steel is D2. Has a flat grind brown micarta that really looks like wood um, and like I said guys this isn't a soft micarta it's more like a wood g10 feel it, it has texture to it too it's kind of it's really interesting it's, it's a nice micarta I don't think I really felt micarta like this on another knife that has this look it, it, it's great it has, it's a nice texture um, button lock obviously and it's 3.84 ounces with a knife this size that 3.75 to 4 ounces, I think it's perfect. Perfect weight. It feels so good. Um, let's see the balance. I mean, it's balanced. Uh, it's pretty good. I would like it just a tiny bit further up. Like, just a scotch, but the balance is okay. And like I said, guys, the ergo's on here if you're holding it back like this. With... It's it's really, really good. Even though it's kind of square and blocky, it just fits your hand. I mean, it fits my hand just so well. If it was chamfered, though, I mean, it would be that much, so much, it would be so much better. But the way it is right now, chamfering this would be so easy, guys. You just take a little bit of sandpaper and carefully just do a little, you know, round the edges a little bit. It's super easy. It's not hard whatsoever. I've done it on so many knives. And it really does improve the way it feels in your hand. So, um, oh, yeah, and there's also that lanyard hole for people that love lanyards. Um, yeah, guys, um, check these products out. Uh, they're super good. Uh, especially this bag, man. This bag, I'm so surprised. It's so, that this canvas is so thick. Like, I, I thought it was just going to be some, like, thin canvas for 20 bucks, But it's, like, freaking super nice canvas. Super, super thick. So very, very surprising. Um, also, if you haven't checked it out yet, if you look back two videos, um, I have something that you might want to check out. Um, just follow the directions on it. 
Um, and I'll be doing it probably not this coming Saturday, but this... Wait, actually, wait, what is today? Saturday? So probably next Saturday or next Tuesday. Well, uh, yeah, maybe probably like on the 17th to the 20th. Somewhere in between there I'll be doing it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to solicit it on Instagram or Facebook or anything. Um, I really believe that giveaways should just go to the people that watch your channel. Um, I don't want some random dude winning it that doesn't watch my channel or support it. Um, I think that's kind of stupid. I mean, I, I would like it to go to someone that supports the channel. You know what I mean? And that's how I think all giveaways should be. So I'm not going to advertise it on any other platform. It's just on YouTube. Right now there's only five comments. Five comments. Got maybe six. Your odds of winning are fantastic. And we're giving away some cool stuff, man. There's two knives. There's the uh, Best Tech uh, Swift, Micarta, the CRKT Pilar, the Blade X2 Blade X exclusive Micarta with uh, tight or steel, frame lock. Um, there's a really cool Prometheus design work patch. A Best Tech Man, little uh, canister for your keychain to hold whatever you might want to hold in there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stickers. There's a Boker Mermaid coin. Um... There's uh, 20 doodads and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff, guys. And um, if you guys keep on supporting the channel, when we get to 100 subscribers, I have a freaking doozy of a giveaway. I mean, just a stupid, dumb, ridiculously not need a giveaway, but I'm going to do it anyway because I really like doing this and I would really like to grow the channel. Um, and I really appreciate the support too, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, just starting out, just a tiny channel. I just record with my phone. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, I don't even edit. Whatever I say just goes in the video. Uh, I feel like it's more authentic that way. Um, and I know a lot of people like it that way too. Instead of a totally edited video that's, you know, all scripted and blah, 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 blah. It's more natural this way. I, I, I tend to gravitate towards people that do videos like this. So... Um, like I said, guys, I really appreciate it. Check out that video. I think it's uh, it's the one that says uh, uh, this is what you've been waiting for or something like that. Uh, check that video out and just follow the rules. Um, and if you guys want really good odds, just don't tell anybody. Um, just let the subscribers find it. Um, and yeah, your odds will be fantastic. So right now, the odds are like 1 in 6. <laughs> like, they're really good odds. And the amount of stuff I'm giving away is pretty ridiculous. Also, comment on that video too. If I should, um, for the giveaway, if I should break it up into three different price packs or just leave it as one big one. Um, I'm kind of undecided of what I want to do on that, so any input would be great. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.